that's that finished on the machine. We just uh, <sighs> finally got the rototiller to Edmonton to repair. There's a few issues. The main one was these tines. They were off of another machine and they were a lot larger than, uh, than these tines. So the outside tines were just way deeper. And so we just re-drilled them, which is a pain. It's some kind of tempered steel. I still got two to drill. I went through a drill bit, and uh, yeah, we'll see. And then I'm going to make extend this guard out. And it looks like we lost breather pipe. We'll have to do something about that. And then the throttle was... Uh, and this is all loosened off and bending but I just realized I can't weld that in place with reinforcements without uh, having it on the tractor because obviously this this distance is crucial. That's where we're at with the old rototiller because the other one was stolen so we won't be hooking up the other one to anything. So I got my parts all laid out on the old uh, Volkswagen hood for getting my money's worth out of this. That'll be the end of it once I get those off. Maybe I'll cut these louvers off and use them somewhere, who knows, on a lawn tractor. Anyway, that'll be uh, my sheet metal for my side extensions. Got all my fender pieces cut. The hood. hoods aren't held together with anything but glue, at least Volkswagen. Welding that, uh, welding these pieces in there would would uh, require quite the metallurgist. That's uh, quite the challenge to keep that straight and weld that up. I couldn't do it myself, but uh, before, it's kind of menacing and deadly. It was always kind of scary getting behind the tractor with this thing throwing dirt up, and that's probably good enough now, but uh, the Volkswagen fenders. But we're gonna weld some skirts in here somehow or another, and, uh, and that should eliminate all the spray then, and also strengthen that up a lot. So, just gotta bring the welder out. Oh, that's that finished on the machine, we just, uh, just tack welded these side skirts on, it's nice and sturdy, we just screwed these with sheet metal screws, we'll nut sort them if, if they get ripped off. We welded a uh, little ring for the lift where the old handle used to bolt on. And that should be a much better machine now. We're good to go. Oh, and the shifter, that was a big thing. Just putting, putting the shifter on it because the old shifter was on the arm. So almost ready for the garden.